Hi, I'm Alessandro Cangerosi and that's another new tip tutorial for Modo coming from cgcookie.com uh, In the last uh, tip tutorial we uh, started to talk about um, the shader tree feature and this time we'll uh, continue to work uh, on this uh, area of the, of the software and we check out we can work on more layers uh, to create more uh, effects so uh, I create uh, a very simple um, mesh so let's create uh, a sphere I go inside the model code I change a little the proportion okay uh, let's use the snapping uh, to the grid and let's create A sphere like this one okay uh, let's move the sphere okay perfect um, so I call it uh, sphere it's not a problem the the name uh, so let's move it again okay um, I'd like to uh, to use uh, some new feature coming from the um, the shader tree so I assign a new material sphere material and I go inside the render menu let's go inside the camera viewport and let's change it like this one okay let's go inside the material editor and we open the render layer and I can find the material sphere, sphere material and we check it something about the diffuse channel and the bump channel and this time I'd like to to see uh, the possibilities to create uh, the displacement and something about uh, the the transparency and something else and maybe if we had time uh, uh, we can work on the uh, image map properties so uh, let's start uh, checking the difference between uh, the the bump map and the displacement we have inside um, model so uh, let's go inside the material editor and uh, uh, now we are at the uh, material layer and we uh, use the add layer uh, feature and for the moment we can try to use the noise map and you see that now we are using the map uh, as a, a, a diffuse map and we can uh, change the effect of the layer with the right mouse button and we say bump and let's select the material and let's go there and let's say that the bump uh, strength is 500 okay so we can see the the bump uh, if we'd like uh, to have a better result uh, uh, than the the bump because you you see that we have the the bumpy effects all over the surface but we have no effect uh, on the edge of the mesh uh, let's move there so you see that we uh, we have the bump effect over the surface and no effects over the edge uh, so we have to change uh, feature and let's go uh, again at the center and let's select the noise right mouse button and let's use displacement so actually we are using the displacement you see that the effect seems uh, very similar to the uh, bump effects uh, let's go uh, near the the mesh like that okay and uh let's go inside uh, the material layer again there and let's say that the displacement distance is uh maybe 20 centimeters and you see that now we have uh the uh, 3d bumpy effects or the surface uh, in the material editor uh, we see uh, the polygons but if i close the material editor and I try to render it uh, let's go there 
uh, let's select the render and let's say uh, for example 400 for 300 and let's render uh, the view okay and you see that we uh, don't see the uh, the face because we are using a, a, a micro triangle displacement uh, feature so we have unlimited uh, uh, level of detail for the mesh so if I go again inside the material editor and I select the noise and I change the frequency and the frequency is the uh, level of detail of the map and uh, we try to use 8 uh, we can go back and I can say again render current view ok and you see that we have a lot of, de of detail uh, that's uh, the previous render and that's the new render and we have a lot of detail over the surface so let's close uh, the render preview uh, the render view and you see that uh, it's, it's very fast uh, so uh, it is very very useful uh, to be used in Modo we have the displacement, a 3D displacement and the vector displacement so in a future uh, tip tutorial we'll talk about the differences between uh, these maps um, let's go back and let's remove this layer so right mouse button over the layer name and we can select delete um, I, uh, I'd like to, to see the uh, noise uh, parameters because uh, in all our uh, tutorial uh, I think I will use uh, uh, so much uh, the procedures to add detail and to make some edging effects over the surface and to create custom material so let's go uh, there to the material uh, let's use the other layer noise again and let's see the uh, how we can use the noise and which parameters we have uh, we have the color one so that's the first color uh, of the noise and you see that the black area now are red and we have the alpha of this layer so you see that we can change it uh, and we can make it uh, more visible or less visible so it's the transparency of the color one and we have the color two and I can select uh, the other color so we can change the white to another color and then we have uh, the alpha layer so the transparency level for the color two so you see that I can change it and I can remove it okay and uh, we have the uh, noise type and we can click over fractal and we have three choice we have simple uh, so you see we have not so much detail and we have fractal and that's the the uh, the basic uh, 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 mode to use uh, detail and then we have the turbulence uh, we can use uh, fractal and turbulence to create a lot of, uh, of uh, effects uh, we can create uh, for example terrain uh, and cloud and smoke and uh, rusty all, all the things uh, we can imagine uh, for to achieve natural effects uh, and realistic effects we can do using the noise so uh, let's go back to e fractal and let's go back to black and white okay and we have the frequency and as I said the frequency is the level of detail of the map uh, if we use one for the frequency we uh, uh, obtain a fractal that will be similar uh, to the simple you see that uh, there's no uh, differences let's go back to fractal and using uh, an higher level of frequency gives you uh, more detail so let's try with three uh, sorry uh, four okay so you see that I can change it 
uh, in real time and maybe uh, we cannot see uh, the differences uh, when the frequency number is very high so if we use 10 or 15 we see no difference but if we zoom inside the map we can see the differences or maybe it can be seen if we use it for a bump or maybe uh, to create displacement effects uh, let's go back uh, to something around 5 then we have the uh, frequency uh, ratio and you can see that we are changing uh, the the form uh, the shape of our uh, fractal noise and uh, it, it can be very interesting to animate it uh, for example if we use uh, the noise to create some waves over the water uh, we can create we can use the frequency uh, ratio uh, parameter uh, to animate the waves and then we have the amplitude ratio so you see that we are changing uh, let's zoom in okay uh, we are changing the uh, the scale in any way and uh, you uh, the usage of the uh, frequency value over the noise and it can be very useful to achieve a uh, very complex result uh, then we can control the uh, uh, presence of black uh, and the white area so the contrast between the color one and color two let's close the layer and you see that we have the bias and the gain so we can change the bias and you see that we are changing the contrast of the noise and we can change the gain again and that's another way uh, to change uh, uh, the uh, contrast be between the two colors uh, let's try to use for example uh, something like 14 and let's change uh, the effect from diffuse color to uh, displacement and you see that we are creating something like uh, some mountain over uh, a surface uh, let's go uh, to the material um, let's say uh, uh, four to five centimeters and you see that we have a lot of detail we can try with more detail using 70 centimeters and we can go back to the noise and we can say to use 20 frequency so we we can obtain a lot of detail uh, let's close the material editor and let's go there uh, and let's uh, say uh, render a test maybe we can use uh, also the global illumination uh, something like that you see the result there uh, let's remove the server sampling and let's use 32 for the indirect rays and 128 for the radiance uh, so we can be uh, faster and let's go uh, let's go to the uh, texture uh, sorry render render current view okay and let's wait for the rendering and you see uh, the result there so we can try to uh, to change to camera sorry uh, to camera okay and let's go uh, there again and let's ask for uh, 70 20 and maybe uh, for 80 and let's render it okay and you see that we are using a uh, uh, a lot of uh, polygons because we have uh, two millions polygons and uh, we are creating the polygons just at render time using uh, uh, the displacement so using our uh, noise and let's go there and maybe we can change uh, the position To something like that ah, just to to check how it looks 
on this area uh, let's move it okay and let's render again uh, the viewport and the polygons uh, will be uh, created at render time so for example in this view we need less polygons because we are not so near to the surface and you see how much detail we have and you see the bump then the displacement the first test with the displacement and the second one and the third uh, let's try to to go uh, very near uh, to the surface just to uh, understand how many polygons he need to create okay let's go there and let's render again the view okay and we see that we have two million polygons two million and a half three millions three millions and four uh, and we need more polygons but we have a lot of detail and that's uh, that techniques can be uh, used for example to create terrain or mountain and you see something similar to mountain there so uh, uh, we check it out to use uh, the map inside the uh, shader tree to create uh, the displacement and we see how to use the noise and how to change all the parameters um, so uh, that's everything for this tip tutorial and I hope to see you again on CG Cookie uh, and uh, on Modo Cookie to uh, to check new tutorial from us. Thanks.